Well, now we're going to do our Endocrine 19 in this series, an introductory series of hormones, in this case, that are labeled, when they're labeled endocrine, we're talking about the hormones, basically. Well, lo and behold, the tissue we're going to be focusing on is adipose tissue. So that might be kind of stunning for you. Adipose tissue makes hormones. Yeah. Well, adipose tissue could also be called fat tissue. We know that. That's maybe the more common name, fat, rather than adipose tissue. Well, you should know that adipose tissue is made up of cells called adipocytes or adipocytes. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I don't work in fat a lot, so those people that go to those meetings, I don't know if they say adipocytes, adipocytes, or adipocytes, like I do. Cytes mean cell, and then adipo means fat. Well, let's talk about fat briefly. Here's a kitten, a domestic cat. It should weigh no more than 8 to 10 pounds. I'm going to guess this guy or gal, I'm not sure what it is, maybe weighs 20 or more pounds, maybe 25. I remember one time a student brought a cat to my class that was very obese. It had tipped the scale at 32 pounds, and this student had actually rescued it from a shelter and had started, of course, dieting, having the cat undergo a diet. And when I saw the cat, it was 26 pounds and not too far away from what this cat looks like. I do not know the exact history of this cat. Well, let's look at some nice graphics of an adipocyte, a dipocyte. I don't know. Actually, I probably should have looked it up, but I don't know. Adipocytes. <laughs> anyway, you can see in this fine drawing that this whole thing depicts one cell. It's a cell with a nucleus. It's got mitochondria. It's got everything a typical cell does, except for this big yellow mass in the middle, and it's really where the fat is stored, fat reservoir. These fat cells can get big, small, depending on how much fat is stored. Every cell has a membrane and a cytoplasm that's inside. That's a typical cell, but this is, in particular, a fat cell. Not a fat fat cell, but a cell that's got a lot of fat reservoir, perhaps. Then we always do a little histology. So... Here are fat cells, adipocytes, adipocytes, and it very well mimics what we saw in the figure that some artists drew. So here's one adipocyte. You can kind of see the nuclei are pressed off to the peripheral region, just like in here. This one's kind of idealized. I have a feeling, well, this is a real one, so it's kind of flattened. So this is real tissue. This is an artist's depiction. So that's why I like to look at histology. This is a real adipocyte or adipocytes. Well, the discussion about what hormones are made by fat tissue is going to be rather short because there's one, let's say, one hormone known for sure. It's a protein hormone, and I've got it on the screen here, leptin. Leptin is a hormone made by adipocytes. And let me bring my little graphic here and see if I practiced it. Right. And what I want to say here is when you have increased fat accumulating in the body, the leptin is made by fat cells. So if you have more fat, they're more active, you're going to get, and let's see, okay, right, I'm doing this on the fly here. You're going to get more lep leptin produced. So, increased fat, increased leptin, 
And then lo and behold, that goes to the brain and says, I'm not as hungry. So the action of leptin on the brain supposedly is to decrease appetite, decrease hunger. So, but if you interfere with leptin, as in this picture here of these two mice that are basically, they're the same mice. Think of them as, as clones of each other, except the mouse on the left here has had its leptin inactivated. So it's really not listening to the hormone. It's not listening where it's supposed to be decreasing hunger. So it's kind of pretty neat. Whereas this mouse on the right has been left alone. So its appetite's in check. This guy's appetite is not in the check because it's not really getting the message from leptin because they've essentially inactivated the leptin that's produced. Okay, so that's very interesting, very good picture there. And here are two other hormones made by fat tissue, supposedly, and it's very, this whole area is new. Adiponectin, adiponectin, not sure exactly the right pronunciation, that is the right spelling, and then resistin. So these three hormones, the most is known about leptin. Leptin was discovered like 1995, I believe. And so we know how it works, but it can be made by other tissue in some animals. I know in the dog, it's made by reproductive tissue. So it might have a reproductive function. So this is very early, very new. Leptin is the most famous. These other two fat hormones were discovered later. So they're relatively new, still a lot of research going on. And here's a list of the illustrations I used. Thanks a lot. See you later.